raining! Ooh. Oh, of course I can't open the door. Hey girls, welcome to the pregnancy vlog. Oh shit! You can believe it if you're not ready to give it away this early on. Oh no, it's they already know. It's Your door's open. Oh my god. I'm just doing my best, you guys. Oh. Oh. It's an alarm. For what? Time to chill the f out. <laughs> No, it's actually, it was an alarm to go off on somebody if they hadn't yet responded to me. So quite the opposite. <laughs> an alarm to blow the f up. <laughs> that's... And that's how you do business. <laughs> Here, let's get some hand sanitizer. Put it in my mouth. <laughs> Is that a thing? Not, no! Oh, no! Obviously, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> I'm saying they should make an oral friendly sanitizer that you could just... Is that mouthwash? Yeah, probably. Does that kill? Or maybe it's just vodka. Are we in this? Hey girls. Hey. I think so. Should we start? Yeah, uh, yeah. We should start the journey. Is this where we're starting? Does it feel right on a rainy day? It does feel right on a rainy day, especially as a person who's just had nothing but like eight pounds of carbohydrates. Mm, they taste so good. When I tell you Ryland and I want to give up on everything right now, I really mean it. <laughs> you could really only have a bowl of pasta and an entire pizza and some squash zucchini blossoms together before you're like, it's bedtime. Bro. I'm not in the frame. Oh, who is? Why are you doing it like Because uh, I'm holding the, I'm, am I? No, you're in oh, it. Okay. Okay, so the year was 2023. No, that's not true. No, yes it is. No, the year was 2022. We got to go back. Oh, okay. It was Christmas. And I thought, oh my God, I want a little homo so f***ing bad. And I thought so strong in my gut while Joe and I were driving somewhere that I was like, I need to get a diary right now and start a diary for my little homo so they know how desperately their mommy wanted them before they even existed. Did not get the diary, <laughs> never wrote it down, but here it is in vlog form. I love you, baby, and I always really wanted you. Oh, that's enough to make a pregnant woman cry. <laughs> anyway, Joe and I really wanted a baby. <laughs> But we needed to get some ducks in a row first. So we decided we would time out. I've literally spit all over my face somehow. Maybe it's because I keep putting the lens in my mouth. It's tears. It's just tears on my mustache. Anywho, Joe and I decided that we were gonna try for a 4th of July baby. You might remember me saying that on such things as the SIP <laughs> official podcast. Um, but we wanted to have a side of born on the 4th of July, but we also aren't the kind of people who can really afford to make that actually happen, Kylie Jenner. But my friend Kate did the math for me and she said if you get pregnant in September, depending on your ovulation cycle, which you can manipulate because you are on birth control right now, you could potentially have a 4th of July baby. Like, if you can dream it, you can be it, go get them. And honestly, Kate, thank you so much for believing in Sparkle Motion. And you know what I want to say here? What? Is even with more of a fixed plan with surrogacy for us, I thought I was also going to plan out having a Taurus. Yeah. And life just doesn't work out like that. Like, there's different plans for everyone, so I don't think it's possible unless you're Kylie Jenner and have that close of a relationship with God. Have your second on the second of the second month. Wow. Uh, That's how she had error. Damn. Her second baby on the second day of the have second month. Have we landed on that name? I think she landed on it years ago. Her yeah. baby might be 15 now. <laughs> so Joe and I like live our lives. We're being normal people. And all of a sudden it's 2023 and it's September. And I said, Joe, put that fucking baby in me. Cause I'll be goddamned if we're not celebrating the 4th of July come 2024 with fireworks and a baby boy. That's and, cute. Right? Yeah. How are you going to control the gender? I don't know. That was, oh no, there are ways. So then my friend what? Cynthia. Yeah, there are ways. Well, there's old wives tales. So my friend Cynthia was like, eat a ton of pineapple and do it from doggy style. No. Yeah. Do you make a sex tape when you get pregnant? Oh no. no. Okay, cut that actually. <laughs> Why? Why did you think you, that's not getting cut? Why do you think you make a sex tape when you get pregnant? I'm not for the couple, like for the split second in my mind, I was like, oh, the, it doesn't make sense. Like the two. I need you to play it out for the audience, because <laughs> no, no, no I'm it doesn't to make, make sense. It sounds really bad. You gotta say it. No, 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 I'm done, and I want that cut. <laughs> it's definitely not getting cut. I'm so sorry. Not in your kid's birth vlog announcement. This is the perfect birth vlog announcement for my little homo. Okay, I can't wait. Okay, so anyways, is so the audio fine in here? What do you guys think? 
<laughs> no, it's raining. We're driving my fingers up the microphone's and ass. stop lights don't work. So Great. We're, Cynthia gave me all these tips and tricks to conceive a boy. If you conceive on the day of your ovulation, you're more likely to conceive a boy. You, your ovulation cycle is based around like your menstrual cycle and you can track it by taking your body's temperature with a specific thermometer that I thought goes in your pussy. It does not. It is just a mouth thermometer. Don't put it in your pussy. I can't even remember what it's called because I used it. Excuse me, pasta's coming back up. I used it one time and then Icky ate it and then I said I won't be buying another. <laughs> so I used test strips to see when my ovulation came and it actually gets darker. I would take a test strip every day starting from the last day of my period and just watch it sort of get darker and then on the day that it was peak crimson darkness, I was like, that's my window to fuck get a baby boy up in this bitch. I'm not a doctor, guys. You need to Google everything I'm saying because it's all probably lies and slander. But allegedly, according to me, who is a <laughs> fraction of a podcast co-host on YouTube, plugging the SIP official. If you guys aren't watching, you should watch it. How many times should I plug it? Okay, back to my story. If you get come up in your business <laughs> within 72 hours of your egg dropping, which is your ovulation, you could conceive a child. So Joe and I try that. I tell everyone I'm pregnant the day after I ovulate because obviously I am. Because that's how it works for women. Pregnant until proven otherwise. Literally. So I take out a test. I've literally bought all the sh** all Rylan that I'm pregnant. I bought um, Joe these scratchers on Amazon that are fake scratchers because Joe loves doing scratchers. And when you scratch it off, it looks like you're a winner. And then when you scratch off what the prize is, it says, we're pregnant. And it's really cute. Wow. So I was ready to give Joe that I took the test and it's negative. <sighs> and honestly, I've never felt so bad in my entire fucking life. It literally felt like I got blackout drunk and committed vehicular manslaughter and didn't remember it. And then the police knocked on my door and were like, you're arrested for vehicular manslaughter. And then I had to tell everyone I relapsed and killed someone. That's what it felt like. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing at your, but like your detailed story of what the feeling was. Is it <laughs> I know it's not really. <laughs> so that sucked. I'm just trying to be honest though, like, because that's I feel like that when you hear how intense that is, I think that it's like it's a different version of anxiety because it's like you expect to be devastated. I okay, I'm only gonna speak for myself. I'm I've only lived my own life, but it was the, a a very different version of anxiety than I have ever felt in my entire life, and I felt like I was in trouble, and I don't know why, but it yeah. really felt like I was in trouble. She would text me and say, "I really feel like I'm in trouble." That is, my nervous system is telling me I'm in trouble and I need to run. Yeah. It was really, it was a, it was weird. I don't even understand that. So if you are a medical mental health professional, please drop a comment in the link bio below about what my problems might be. Um, and if you're just a good Samaritan who thinks I have problems and you, that you can pinpoint them, go ahead and drop a comment too, because engagement's engagement. Do you want to wait and transition locations? Yeah, put this in your mouth. Hi. I already pulled out of a mouth. What? Yeah, I transitioned already. Oh. With the dogs downstairs. Oh yeah, there we are. It's like we made it. I think I'm in it. Do we have to turn it a little bit more towards you? But then what if you're not in your own brain? Oh no, <laughs> look at the thingy again. Rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling. I hope. <laughs> okay, where are we? Um, first, we had our first not pregnant result. Right, and we were talking about how horrible that was. Yeah, and then I had many more. And then I decided this. Hold on, you have something. Poopoo -poo mouth? <laughs> Poopy lips? No. Yeah, you got it. There's just a white fuzz. Poopy lips McGillicuddy? Is the mic gonna be in the frame? I don't know. That's part of the fun of being on the news <laughs> vlog. <laughs> so we tried and tried, and a lot of people suggested that I relax. And I said, thank you so much for your suggestion. That's so helpful. I'm gonna take that suggestion and I'm gonna kill you. cram it into a really tight ball of snow and shove it into your throat and let it melt slowly and drown you in a really horrible way. And hopefully this maybe- This is your pregnancy talking. It's definitely my pregnancy talking. Sorry, if one of your friend of mine and you said, just relax, uh, go ahead and know that it was definitely well received. <laughs> And it worked. <laughs> it worked. No. Um, so I started tripping. You know, everyone's like, 
try for a year and then see a specialist. And I was like, no, I'm going to try about three times and then I'm going to see a specialist because information is power. Yeah. And if there, even if there isn't something, sorry, not no, go ahead. Over. no, this is why I'm saying even if there isn't something, it's better to have checked all the boxes instead of just be doing something for a year and then finding out because you want you planned when you wanted to be pregnant so yeah. you wanted to be pregnant as close to then as possible exactly and you know my husband's not a spring chicken <laughs> like he is a fucking out to pasture cow <laughs> that mother is what's in, his age Are he's 42. oh he'll be 43 when the baby comes I mean, some of these- We don't have time, is what I'm saying. Some of these actors act like they have time when mm -hmm. they're getting women pregnant and they're 75. At 75, which I will get to that on another day. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, I was tripping and I was like, I don't need to trip like without information. Like there's no need to be like, I have a problem or my husband has a problem without seeing a fucking specialist. Anything that anyone wants to do, they should not be shamed or questioned no. for it. It's their life. If they want to do it, let them do it. Yeah, everyone was like, why are you doing that? And I was like, well, because I can. And want to. And want to. And also, it didn't cost anything. The specialist consultation I went to was absolutely free. And turned out to be a great investment. It was a really good investment of my time. And changed it. everything, honestly. It really did. So, fuck you. <laughs> so eat my ass, bitch. <laughs> There's no harm in doing that. And, and if you go to a specialist that costs money, if you have the money to do it, good for you. If you're in a different position and you can't afford it, find someone like I did who has a consultation for free. So what the way that we were trying was why we weren't getting pregnant. And if I had just relaxed and never gotten answers, I would have probably never gotten pregnant because I was blowing Joe's load all month. <laughs> and at that point we're depleted and there's no squirrel nutkins to go in this tree. Right. So then knowing this and knowing that if you store up your nuts and you don't blow any loads. Not have, too long, but not too early. Yeah. Right? You just hang on to as much load as you can. <laughs> and then we hit it right on the day of ovulation. And I bought this special lube that's basically like cocaine for semen, where it just makes it really bold and really confident. And we did that on the day of my ovulation. I didn't know that was a product that existed. Oh yeah, it does. It's on Amazon. Wow. Well, first of all- I've dropped an affiliate link. I wish I had an affiliate link. <laughs> I, I think you will. I don't know that I'll have you, I'm gonna look on your, I'll help you see okay. if it's enabled on YouTube. Thank you. So I also skipped a step. We were gonna do a procedure called IUI, which is invasive, but not as invasive as IVF, where they take Joe's semen, give it a pep talk with some sperm cocaine, and then they put it into- Right where it needs to be, right? Yeah, so they take a syringe with a long catheter on it and then they shoot it right close to where my egg drops. And they also give me a drug that ensures that my egg drops at the exact time that the semen is released by it. So that's IUI. I've heard that IUI is like a one in three success rate. In the meantime, I researched how to get a dog pregnant and decided I was gonna try that on myself. <laughs> Because guess what, guys? It did not help when you told me to relax. <laughs> so I bought a dog insemination kit on Amazon. <laughs> and sperm lube. And I was going to IUI myself. <laughs> hey, I'm sure it's worked for some people. Listen, I do not recommend going my route. There are, infertil there are fertilization, or what is it called? What is it called? If I have a booger in my nose, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you look. Um, while he checks his booger, there is something, what's it called? Artificial insemination. Oh my God, there was a small one. So I, I could have spent a little bit of extra money and gotten a human artificial insemination kit, but I decided to go rogue. <laughs> and then when the catheters that are attached to the syringes for the dog ones came, I was like, oh, really intimidated and scared about it. Cause it's very firm. And then I was like, oh, I'm gonna like scratch the line of my uterus and, and make it so that nothing ever sticks. So then I was like, I'm not gonna artificially inseminate myself with this French bulldog breeding kit. <laughs> but at this point also, I do have to say like, I had given up and in my heart of hearts, I was like, there's no way this is gonna work, but why not throw a Hail Mary? You know, why not? and um, went and shot the Kickstarter for my crowdfunding campaign video. And then I waited 10 days and 10 days from that point was Christmas. 
I remember, yeah, on Christmas getting a text from yeah. you. And I was really excited because I was like, God wants me to have a Christmas present this year. <laughs> God wants my ass to be f***ing pregnant for Christmas. I literally had a list I was because I, I wasn't going to get presents for anyone. I was like, this is the gift I'm giving everyone this year. <laughs> and took a test and it was negative. Mm. And I was like, well, guess no one's getting it. <laughs> And then um, days and days went by, and I had planned a trip to New York that I did not invite Joe to, which is, in retrospect, a little crazy. But Joe's, I didn't invite Joe. Is that why you're looking at me like that? No, I'm looking at it because now it's just more layers to this New York trip that none of us were excited for you to be on. I know, it was rude. <laughs> it was a rude trip. Um, so I was gonna go to New York for nine days and I thought I had scheduled it well to not miss my next ovulation window. And when you want a baby so bad and you like put the pressure on your partner to get you fucking pregnant and then you go on a trip, fucks up your ovulation schedule, you know, it's a bad look for me. Right. So I was like, where the f my period? Like this bitch has bet took, like she's gotta come <laughs> so that I could get nutted in before I go to New York. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Otherwise I'm an asshole. <laughs> more of the concern because I was still like, I'm not going to get pregnant, but I also don't want to be an asshole. <laughs> um, and so I just kept waiting and waiting. I was like, where the f is my period? And then uh, New Year's Eve comes and Joe goes to give me a kiss and he like grabs my boob and I just swatted his ass away. And I was like, don't touch me. That hurts so bad. And I wasn't even thinking. I was like, I'm about to start my period. You know my titties is tender. And then the next day, June 2nd, I was eating a piece of bread and I was like, this sh tastes like spit <laughs> and it's disgusting. And I put it down and I was like, where the f is my period? Cause I had also had spotting and usually my spotting leads right to my period. And I was like, where is that bitch? Like I spotted and then no period came in. It had been days. And I also, when I got pregnant, well, I had been Googling. You can sometimes feel yourself get the implementation, like the what? implantation. So. Right, when I start my period, sometimes if I sneeze, I get sharp cramps on the sides, the lower sides of my tummy, but it's always on the sides. Okay. And then I Googled it and implementation cramping is different. It's in this, it's on the bottom of your belly in the center. And I had a bottom of the belly in the center cramp before Christmas. And I was like, I'm f***ing pregnant. And then God was like, gotcha, bitch. And I wasn't. But then the bread tasted like soap. I'm telling this story bad. It's because we've had a long day. No, I get it. And so I was like, it. like you're a dumb bitch. Like you're gonna spiral out of control. Just go take one of the 85 pregnancy tests you have in the bathroom right now. Just go take one to prove that you're not pregnant so that you can stop being hopeful, you pathetic whore. <laughs> so I go to the bathroom and I peed on it. When, it. when you are pregnant, it's the first stripe and the second stripe. When you're not pregnant, it's just the second stripe. And a lot of people have to wait for there to be a result. So I peed on it and I was like, whatever, it's negative again. And then I noticed that it was starting to sort of pile up in the first part. And I was like, <gasps> <sighs> full blown panic. I wish you would have recorded it. I did too, cause it was manic. <laughs> and then it's got dark as f Like the darkest I've ever seen it. And I went, oh my God. And Joe, my babies are sorry, asleep. sorry, sorry. I screamed like that. And Joe goes, are you okay? And I went, yeah, just give me a minute. He was like, God, I hate when you scream. And I was like, don't be an asshole right now. Screaming. Naked too. I'm naked because I was going to get in the shower. And I'm shaking. And I was like, oh God. Oh my God. Trembling. I go to my little collection of lottery tickets. <laughs> I'm naked, wrapped in a towel. And I go to Joe in his office and I'm shaking and I'm holding the lottery card. And I was like, you have to do this right now. And I get in the card. And then I left the room. I left, I left the room because I didn't know I was like naked and it was crazy and it was not the landing. Like I did not stick the landing. I was nuts. And then he scratched it off and he was like, I knew you were pregnant when you screamed, don't be an asshole. And then he was like, why are you shaking? I was like, <sighs> <sighs> and that's how I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> And then I told everyone, except for Olivia Wilde, who I did bump into at CVS buying my digital pregnancy and test. And I begged her to go up and say, hey, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I, I was so disappointed that nobody actually really likes Olivia Wilde, because if anybody I knew liked her, I would have asked her to announce my pregnancy. <laughs> but it wasn't worth I that. I would have loved it. Would you have even known who it was? No. Like, if you said... <laughs> 
<laughs> but then if you were like, that's Olivia Wilde, they'd be like, oh, who? Hold on, are we even rolling? No, she dated Harry Styles. Oh my God. No. <laughs> no, I think we, you, you, I don't think you're out of focus as fuck. <laughs> no. No, you're just right. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. If I'm out of focus this whole time, treat it like a podcast. <laughs> Um, great. Yeah. And then you're feeling sick. I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling Tired. really grateful. Yeah. I'm, um, every time a new horrible symptom comes on, it's like, damn, she's so pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good because you wanted it so bad that you are, yeah, she'll text me or I'm like, how are you feeling today? And she's like horrible, but pregnant. <laughs> so pregnant. <laughs> I don't know how to spell pregnant. And oh, it's a lot to learn. That, it's hard. Do you know how to spell pregnant? Uh, P R E G. I need my iPhone. Right? I don't know how to spell pregnant. And I also don't know how to spell nauseous, which is really annoying because those are the two things I'm saying all the time. Why is it so hard to spell preg? I feel like normally. I think I, it's pregnant. Normally, when I start typing it out, it finishes it for me, so I just select it's it. It's not pregnant. P R E G N A N T. Wow, that seems pretty easy when you put it like that, huh? Yeah. But now spell nauseous. Nauseous. That's not easy. N A U S E O U S. I'm nauseous. <laughs> That's it? What else should I tell them? Oh, you had your first ultrasound. Oh, what? Here it is. <laughs> I can't stop my stomach from wiggling. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, they're so cute. Is that their little heart? Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. That's a little harpy note? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's right. Met your baby, your the harpy. We heard they'll see it in the video that's I play Bert before this. Oh. Yeah. I forgot how the production of this is going. Yeah. I told my mom and dad and they were pretty oh, cute. Oh, is that in this? Hi. Say hi to the vlog. Hello, the vlog! How's the lighting? No, it's better. How long do you think we're gonna be trapped here? Uh, two seconds. Okay. Well, I guess we'll wait then. You really think two seconds? I think, no, I think much more than two seconds. Yeah, do you think it's a good time to give you a little present? Yes! Good. Grandpa! Are you pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Promoted to grandma? <laughs> oh my God. Promoted to grandpa. Wow. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Woohoo! That is so cool. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh. Well, there it went. Wow, that was so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we probably need to go. We, I already said. See you next Tuesday. Oh, bye.